Hey everyone, welcome back to CNC Auto Works. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. Today I'm going to be upgrading the cooling system on my OBS. And it's not because I've had a problem or anything, it's just kind of preventative maintenance. And it's, on top of that, it's not even really that. Uh, this pickup sat in the backyard for nine, almost ten years uh, when I bought it. And uh, wound up rebuilding the engine and the whole nine yards. And uh, one thing I never replaced was radiator hoses. And I wanted to go ahead and get them replaced before I'm out on the road or at the drag strip and the pop a hose. I definitely don't want to to uh, be the reason that uh, somebody has a bad experience at the track. So I want to get them hoses replaced. But I figured uh, while I'm replacing them hoses, I might as well uh, upgrade the radiator too. Because uh, this truck actually came with the smallest radiator that uh, they offered. It's just a one row, plain Jane, uh, the narrow core. So it got the 28 inch core. So what I've actually done is uh, I've ordered a radiator out of the 454 SS model. It's a, a two row and it's got the 34 inch wide core and you also have to get the right hoses for that wide core and that's what I've done since I had to order the hoses I went ahead and just upgraded it all. The only thing that I'm not kind of crazy about is uh, if you've watched the channel for a while I've actually put these e-fans on here. And they fit this radiator to a T. And uh, they're not going to fit the other radiator as good. I'm not crazy about that. Uh, maybe I can get some some wider fans, but I really doubt it. Maybe I can get a set of fans off uh, the NBS trucks. And another thing I want to upgrade while I'm here is uh, I'm actually going to put a 5-inch uh, a tall air cleaner in this thing because uh, we was working on this thing one evening and we took it out and uh, I actually got in a big hurry and I forgot to put the air cleaner back on and we went for a little rip and it was a huge difference you could you could feel the difference right away of not having the air cleaner on it I, I honestly didn't think it'd make that big a difference this is a Holly uh, high flow filter, but we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to a five inch. This one's just a three inch. While he's getting this radiator out, I, I think he's. Any support on the I thought it was kind of holding no. <laughs> But while I watch him do this ass backwards. He should have uh, got the fans off before he took the mounts off. But daddy didn't. He's too used to working on that Ford stuff. Well, now, now we got it lined up. What you want to do is take your radiator hoses off first. And then uh, I've actually got these E fans. I made little brackets and uh, riveted them all on here. We're going to get a drill and a drill bit and drill them rivets out. Just leave all them. You can just sit on the side. Okay. And uh, I don't have any transmission coolers because I've actually got a manual transmission in this truck. And uh, some of these trucks came with oil coolers. And I don't have that either. So if you uh, needed some kind of direction with uh, your transmission lines or oil cooler lines, uh, you might uh, check into A Rod OBS. He actually just replaced the radiator in his OBS and uh, he had uh, the transmission lines and the oil cooler lines and uh, he done kind of a step-by-step -step video of the radiator replacement on that. I think he wound up having a, a cracked tank on his radiator. But if you need any kind of help figuring that situation out, I would definitely check out his video. Like I said, it's more of a step-by-step -step video that would probably be a little more helpful 
with the lines than uh, what I'm going to do because I got lucky I don't have the lines. Well, I can't say lucky. It would probably be nice to have the whole cooler lines, but I don't have the automatic, so I ain't got to worry about the... Right, we got this one out. We're gonna well, we're gonna pull this new one out. Show you what kind of size difference we really got. Four fifty four SS radiator. Little baby radiator came in my truck. Baby, big dog. Now, if that cooled a 454, this should cool this thing all day, no problem. Now, you can kind of see what I was talking about on my fan situation. I want to have some meat left over on each side now. But I'm going to lay this uh, radiator flat on the floor and install my electric fans. But before I do that, I think I'm going to kind of set this radiator in the truck and make sure it actually fit because uh, that is uh, quite a bit of difference you guys may be asking well why didn't you just go with the aluminum radiator uh, truth be known I don't care for them they never fit quite like they should and to me they're, they're expensive I paid 106 bucks for this radiator to my door and to me, you can't beat that. Went ahead and put our fans on our new radiator. I'm going to drill the holes and go ahead and pop ribbit these uh, brackets back to the new radiator. Four SS radiator installed. Uh, the fan install, it still installed pretty clean, like the factory one, but it wasn't as easy. I had to further modify the electric fans to fit at the bottom. But what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to test fit the hoses. Since this is a water radiator, make sure. Definitely make sure that uh, we got the right hose. I'm going to go ahead and put the hoses on and get some uh, coolant put back in this thing. He says hose fits. Looks like she fits too. All right, they both fit. We're gonna get to take them off, get the stickers off of them, cleaned up, and get them things installed. Well, we got our new air filter installed. What do you guys think? I didn't know how the red would look, but it looks all right. I like the tallness of it. it makes it look a little meaner, in my opinion. Hopefully, it'll flow. A little more air and it run even better, kind of like the knot we took off with no air cleaner. We got the whole radiator installed done. The only thing we really had to modify were the 
the little rubbers at the bottom. I just had to cut uh, the back side of them off. And then we had to mod do some modifications on the fan. But other than that, I had already changed actually the top mounts. These, uh, this is off a of 6.2 diesel. And I wound up cutting them and shortening them. The uh, original OBS's got more of a plastic post fan shroud. I had to ditch the shroud when I went to the electric fans because it's all built in together. It's a shroud slash upper radiator mount. But I went to unbox my new little funnel deal. I'm gonna grab it, it's over there in that white box. This is the only vehicle that I've ever had hell getting the air out of. And uh, I went ahead and bought this uh, it's a filler funnel deal. And uh, it helps you get the air out, supposedly. I actually don't even have a thermostat in here because the thermostat was really, really giving me problems. And I even drilled a little hole to try to Bypass the air and it just wouldn't do it. This guy, I don't know, he's gonna be able to figure this one out. Let me get this all installed, guys, and we'll get back with you. I had to be the rocket scientist in this scenario, even though it didn't take much, but. get all my coolant from Walmart just because it's half price everywhere else even though I don't like giving Walmart my business well I'm pouring this it's really like there's no funnel that's good well it's gonna help get the air out later mm -hmm. you keep talking crap on the funnel but it's kept you from making a huge mess that you normally would make so Get this thing filled up till we got, I don't know, quarter of that full of antifreeze. We're gonna fire it up, let it come up to temp, bleed all the air out of the system. I was actually gonna end this video, but uh, I've never had one of these funnels before. But I can tell you, they're, they're a pretty good little thing to have. You ain't got one. I would suggest investing one. This thing is in here bleeding off air perfectly, not making a mess. Pretty, pretty neat little contraption, really. I know it's kind of silly to be sitting here bragging on something so simple, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. Had to come up the tent, make sure my fans still come on and off.
for this video. Until next time, we'll catch you guys later.